to music story lesson number one by Pizzazz Primary Performing Arts. Now, all music tells a story, even if it doesn't have words. All music tells a story. And that's what we're gonna have a look at at today's lesson. Like with all lessons, we should look at our objectives first. So what we aim to achieve in this lesson. So let's have a little squiz. By the end of this lesson, these are the things we want you to be able to achieve. Number one, use proper musical language to describe dynamics, which means volume, and tempo, which means speed, of music. And number two, create and communicate an original story that matches the mood of an instrumental piece of music. So that's the info for you. Now we'll have a look at the boring stuff for the teachers, just real quick, and then we'll get on to the fun stuff. Working out what story matches the music is actually way easier than you think. All you have to do is think, okay, how does the music make me feel? And then go from there. So let's have an example. Here's some music. Now straight away, you'd be listening to that and going, that doesn't make me feel very good. So if it doesn't make you feel great, doesn't make you feel happy, you know the story's not gonna be happy. So. loud, it's crashy, it's discordant, which means there's a notes played together that don't really sound that great together. So straight away you might go, right, it sounds a bit frightening, it sounds a bit dangerous. So you might think, hey, a storm, thunder crashing, or maybe it's a dinosaur crashing through a city. So I base that on thinking about how the music makes me feel. How about this? Now that sounds very different. It's high in pitch, it's not low. It's a bit more melodic, you know, it's got a bit more of a tune. So you might go, hey, it's high, it's melodic, it's got a tune. <laughs> Fairies maybe, because it's up really high. Hmm, but then having another listen, I think if it was fairies, fairies are not evil, you know, they're good creatures. So you'd kind of think maybe they sound a bit happier. This sounds a little bit sinister. It's using black notes, which are sharps and flats. Some of you who know a bit more about music will already know about sharps and flats. So having listened to it again and thinking about how it's using those sharps and flat notes, the black notes on the keyboard, it sounds a bit creepy maybe. So maybe the story is someone creeping up on somebody else. So have a listen to the music, think about how it makes you feel, and that's your very first step to working out what the story of the music might be. And you know that dogs actually get feelings from music too. It's true, my little dog here. If I pull it on like a horror film, as soon as the music starts, the beginning of the film, before the film's even started, just the music has started, straight away this dog is like, ah, ah, I don't like what I'm hearing. And she's scared and you can tell it and they start barking and they start acting a bit weird. You know, while if I put on a movie or I put on some music that's chilled out, before you know it, I'm looking at my dog and they're asleep. And I've got three dogs and they're all the same. So even dogs can kind of feel the emotion of music. So that's what you want to do. Feel that emotion and then once you've felt that emotion, you're going to be a lot closer to working out what the story of the music might be. What do you think, dog? Sound good? Make sense? Mm, she hasn't got much to say. So you've had all the tips, now you know what to do. What you're going to do now is you're going to pause the video. You're going to lie back, you're going to relax, and you're going to listen to the song that you can find by following the link on this slide. So follow the link, have a listen to the song, lie back, relax, and while you're listening, have a think. How does this music make you feel? And what does it make you imagine? So press pause, have a listen. Welcome back. Now, if you've had enough think time, you can move on to your elbow partner discussion and you can chat with someone near you. What did that music make you feel? What did it make you imagine and why did it make you think or feel that? So have a chat with someone around you. If you're not sure yet, you can always listen to the piece of music again. No worries at all. But if you're ready, pause the video and discuss.
and we're back. Now your partner may have had completely different ideas to you and that is okay. Everyone's imagination is different. Now what I'd like you to discuss is as a whole class or with a friend, what words could you use to describe the music? I've got some examples down there for you like sad, happy, exciting, dangerous, but you come up with your own words that you could use to describe the piece of instrumental music you just listened to. Pause the video and have a chat. Now that you've had a chat and described the music in your own words, let's have a look at some of the correct music language or the correct music terminology that we should be using to describe the music. Now you'll see here there's two tables. There's a green table that describes the correct music terminology for tempo of music. Tempo means speed. And then we have a blue table, and the blue table describes the correct music terminology to speak about volume in music, volume or dynamics as we would call it. Have a look at that table, have a chat about it, and you're going to pause the video, and this time you're going to describe the piece of music using the correct terminology to describe the tempo, which means speed, or the dynamics, which means volume. Pause the video and use the correct music terminology. Good luck. All right guys, so you've had your think time, you've had your discussion time. Now it is time to do. What you're going to do is you are going to create your own piece of artwork that tells the story that you imagine when you listen to that piece of music. Now you might notice here, every slide tells a different challenge depending on what year level you are in. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the slide that matches your year level, you're going to press pause, read your challenge, and then complete your challenge. So your teacher will help you find the slide, or if you are at home, you can get an adult or maybe an older sibling to help you find the slide that matches your year level. Find the slide with your year level challenge and get to it. Good luck guys, have fun, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Hey guys, we're at that time of the lesson. We're at the time of the lesson where you have to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Remember to double check your work. Have you used the proper music terminology? Here it is again on the screen for you so you can check. We're coming to the end of our lesson time now, guys. Remember, at the end of every lesson, you should always check back with the lesson objectives. How did you go? Did you use proper music language to describe the dynamics and tempo of music? And did you create and communicate an original story that matched the mood of the music that you were listening to? If so, yay! If not, keep working at it. Now before you go, I want you to check out this link. Check out how this awesome kid, Merrick Hanna, creates dances that match music and tell an amazing story. He's 12 years old, but super talented. So make sure you check out this link. Now as an optional extension activity at home or at school, you could try to be like Merrick. You could find a song that you like and you could create your own dance that matches that song and helps to tell the story of that song. So that's an optional activity for you to do at home or at school. 
Well, I hope that you enjoyed music story lesson number one by Pizzazz Performing Arts. Thanks so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this lesson, well, guess what? There's more. There are two more music story lessons that you could have a go at, and they listen to completely different music songs, so you can create completely different musical stories. Hope you enjoy it, guys, and I hope to see you at another lesson with Pizzazz Performing Arts for Primary School. Catch you later, guys.